everybody welcome to another video my name is infinity and today I am here to show you guys how to knit the waffle stitch it is a very simple stitch it's very I don't know it's lovely I like it it's a grid pattern and in my opinion you could reverse it if you want it to but on the back it's more so of a stripe pattern as opposed to a grid pattern I don't know the choice is yours without further ado though I'm going to jump into this tutorial Alright, so for this pattern, what you want to do is cast on in multiples of three, and then you're going to add an additional one at the end. So, I'm going to cast on 16. Two, three, four. Alright, so I have cast on a total of 16 stitches. That is my multiple of three plus one. So what we're going to do is get started on this four row repeat. I should have mentioned that, <laughs> but okay. We are going to start our first row by knitting one and purling two all the way across. Oops, knit one. Cut my tail a little short. And purl two. and finishing this row on a knit one. Alright, and here is row one. It's not much yet. So now on to row two. We are going to purl one and knit two. And then we're going to end the row on a purl one. Row three, turn our work. Row three consists of all knit stitches, so we're just going to knit our way all the way across here. And if you would look at the pattern closely, let's kind of zoom in here. If you notice, you're starting to see where your little cells or your little waffle patterns are popping up here because you have a straight line of stockinette going up between sections of garter. All right. So now we're just going to knit all the way across this row.
Alright, now we're done with row 3. On to row 4. Row 4 is even easier. Row 4 consists of all pearls. All pearl stitches. So we're just going to insert our needle purlwise. And we're going to begin to purl. Last one. There we go. All right. So from here, we can start back at row one. So row one was knit one, purl two to the end. And we're knitting the last stitch of row five. All right. And now our little waffles are starting to look a little bit more evident here, which is really nice. All right. So now what we're going to do is we are going to repeat row two, which is going to be a repeat of purl one, knit two. Ending the row on a purl one. For the next row, we're going to be doing all knit stitches. All right, and for the last row of our repeat, we are going to be doing all purl stitches. All right, and you would just repeat rows one through four over and over again until you reach the desired length of your project. This, pro this stitch is really good, I think, for garments and blankets. Um, I would probably even do a sweater with this stitch. I just like how the grids line up on it. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. If so, don't forget to leave this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on my other knitting content. Usually I post knitting type tutorials on Wednesdays at 9.30 a.m. CST, so don't forget to subscribe and check that out. Um, you can also check me out on Instagram where I post all my behind the scenes stuff as well as all the projects that I'm working on and I tend to work on a lot, um, especially as I get into designing my patterns and things like that. So if you're interested in that content, you can head over there and check me out over there. I also post tips, tricks, tutorials, and my patterns on my blog, infinitycraftingcompany.com, and you can find that link in 
the description box below and until next time guys happy making <laughs>